It is not a ministry to be servicing a toxic relationship. That we grew up does not mean that we will continue together. Sometimes God orchestrates situation to get some people out of your life. Instead of you to be sensitive to just celebrate the separation. You do everything in your power to repair what God broke. to define the right association there are some people that need to live your life not always because they are bad but because they are not part of your next level the lot in life for Abraham did not show up until the lot of his life left him there are some people that need to leave your contact before you can contact grace in the year that King Uzziah died I also saw the Lord. Could there be that there are King Gozias that are still alive in your life that are not making you to see the Lord the way you have been desiring to? Now, you don't need to pray that they die. You just need to break off. That we grew up does not mean that we will continue together. At some point in your life, you have to know God has lifted me up. I it is not pride to stay where God has put me. God has lifted me high. It is not humility to keep going down from where he lifted me from. I wish God can lift all of us together. Allow him to be the, to, to be the, 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 the one that we choose. If he lifts you, move on. If he lifts them, they meet you in front. But to say you must lift everybody, that was what made a professional swimmer drown in the sea. He wanted to save everybody that was drowning. They pulled his leg. And the weight became so much that somebody who was trained to swim eventually died in the waters. You can't help everybody. It's a reality that must come to your head. Your association. Who needs to leave me? Now, sometimes God orchestrates situation to get some people out of your life. Instead of you to be sensitive, to just celebrate the separation, you do everything in your power to repair what God broke. It is not a ministry to be servicing a toxic relationship. And some of them don't even have to be toxic. They just don't have anything to contribute to what God is doing in your life. The other time, the Lord said to me, and I have said it here before, that you are not my enemy does not make you my friend. Are you with me? So many times we think that if somebody is not your, my enemy, that means that they are my friend. No, I try my best not to define anybody as my enemy. But you see, friend, I choose them carefully. Your association will determine what associates with you. It says, come down with us and we'll do the good. It said, go forward. Don't allow people drag you back. Go forward. Listen to people that continue to tell you about things they are doing. You know, growing up as a believer, I had friends that I surrounded myself with. We created a spiritual environment. When I say, bro, you know, I just finished a three days fasting and prayer. I, they will say, well, actually, I'm on a seven days. You are what? On a seven day one. Okay, Father, I'm not breaking again. The Bible says you provoke one another. That kind of godly exercise is good. Just when I say, you know, I just finished the book of Acts. You say, when I finish Acts, I've added Romans to it. You added Romans to yours? Okay, no problem. Why were we reading a lot in those days? You meet a brother. It's, you, you, you say you are reading this book. Say, oh, it mentions the author. Say, that was what I read last month. I've started another one. That kind of association, they help your life. But 
what? Your friend is the one that you say, Sister, I'm, I'm really believing God to go to school. Say, no, me have stopped. What are they? What are the people that go to school? What do they get out of the school? If that's your friend, you will never study in your life. If you keep listening to people that are lower, you will never desire to move forward. You will never desire to do something good. God said, I should tell you, tell my people that they go forward. 